What up guys, it is XGen Frames here today with another tutorial and today's tutorial is going to be on optic compression which is like the new CC lens so in CS 5.5 because I took it out so just import your clip just by dragging it in and then I always move the make the clip a little bigger so freaking the black lines aren't there anymore because that looks like shit so now we're just gonna oh yeah by the way this is just like a little team killer whatever I got so guys you can see it's like a 360 no scope cross map on a teammate so pretty nice if it was the other team but yeah okay so as you want okay just just gonna use this little bar here to zoom in on my clip so we're working with a little more space and then what you want to do is you basically just want to find your find the shot so the shots right here okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to here you're gonna make sure this is highlighted go to effect distort optics compensation and then as you can see this thing pops up here and basically what you want to do is you want to do the drop down menu on your clip go to effects optic compensation and this is down here now okay so now basically what you want to do is you want to do it probably we'll say as soon as I stop spinning so right here so you're gonna click this little stopwatch where it says FOV field of view right and then you're gonna go to your shot it's where the flare is right so then you're just gonna drag it up to oh no you have to you have to click where is it click here to reverse to reverse the compensation so that makes it come out not in and then you just want to make it go wherever you really want it wherever you think it looks good so then as you can see it goes like this and it goes boom and then about halfway or like maybe three quarter halfway of like how, m how many frames you did it here you want to put it back down to zero easier just type it in but I'm too lazy so as you can see it does this nice little boom like that so I'll just render quick preview this shit and so you guys can see the effect and the next tutorial is probably gonna be that uh that transition I did um with the multiple screen the motion tile or whatever so but the only problem with that is I have to give you the uh, the effect because it doesn't come with After Effects, and I forget completely where I put it. So and I think this is good right here. So as you can see, it goes like that, and then it does better if you put like some like like a like a swoosh sound here like as it's coming in and I do like an explosion or something here it looks really good sounds really good so that was the tutorial it was pretty quick today and yeah guys peace